What is going on everyone? Uh, so today we're going to be going on a little bit of a trip. Uh, one thing I've been trying to do since, you know, right now we can't really uh, sell food in Chicago. Um, you know, I wanted to make sure that when we are ready to go, that we have all the equipment we are and we're just kind of waiting for the opportunity to happen so that we can get started right away. Uh, and with, with that comes with, uh, you know, trying to find restaurant equipment. So I'm sure for those of you guys who do have restaurants or who have bought supplies like speed rack trays, all those kind of stuff, bus tubs even, um, you know, that stuff adds up quite a bit when you're trying to stock up and have enough storage for all that stuff you're trying to do. And, um, you know, for the last two months or so, you know, that's what I've been trying to do is trying to look for deals and, uh, you know, where I can buy cheap versions of whatever, because even with discounted places, it still adds up real fast. And, you know, cash is something that we don't readily have available right now. I was bidding on uh, online on uh, one of those auctions. And so uh, today we are going to go pick up some of the stuff that we uh, won some bids on. So um, we're going to be driving driving up to Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, and yeah, we're going to take a little mini road trip. It's going to be fun. I haven't really been outside of my house very often uh, during, the, during this quarantine. And so just I think going on a nice long drive and picking up some stuff and thing will be fun. So uh, that's what we're doing today and then uh, yeah, hopefully maybe well, we'll see there are restaurants in, in, in Wisconsin Some are gonna be opened up uh, If we get lucky, I want to see if we can find a spot where we can get some butter burgers because uh, I haven't had a real one other than at Culver's so if we can find one we're gonna go and we're gonna eat a burger All right, we'll see what happens Alright, after a long day of driving, we made it back home, uh, we just stashed everything away and tomorrow what we'll do is we'll pick up some cleaning equipment and give everything a good scrub down, especially that speed rag, it's going to definitely need it. So this is the speed rack. You can see you bought it as is, so it's got all this junk on here. So it's, look at all that. Yummy. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, it is dirty, but this is actually a really, really sturdy um, speed rack. So um, a lot of times we get to all those other ones that are pretty wobbly, but uh, yeah, it's a really good one. Just got to clean it up. You know, this feels like, if you guys seen the movie Chef, and you know, when they finally get their food truck, and they're trying to clean it out for the first time. Oh, that's it. That's where the smell is coming from. What is that? I don't know, whatever it is, clean it out. That's what the speed wreck feels like. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. If you guys find one that's a little gunky, but it's sturdy, go and buy it.
looks much, much better. And I'm definitely happy I picked this thing up, man. All right, guys, so we're going to end the video here. I'm obviously not going to make you guys watch me wash all that stuff. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to just say that, um, you know, I think going into opening up a pop-up or opening up a restaurant or whatever the case may be, I mean, obviously there are a lot of things that, you know, I have to get ready for, a lot of things that I wasn't prepared for. But at the same time, uh, you know, I was able to get all this equipment for pretty cheap and it was only able to happen because, you know, unfortunately the restaurant that I got my stuff from, you know, closed because of the COVID. So, um, you know, it's with that kind of a, you know, realization and, and hopefully with a little bit of perspective that I'm trying to think about, you know, all this stuff is not just stuff that I just picked up, but it's stuff that I'm able to get because, you know, someone else, the restaurant is closed. Um, and so, you know, with that, I just want to be able to, you know, respect everything that I get, whether it's equipment, whether it's, you know, meat, space where I can actually do stuff, you know, respect the people who come and eventually will get the food. But um, yeah, guys, it's a, uh, it's a really, it's been a pretty eye-opening experience just to go through all these steps. Um, and uh, initially I wasn't sure if I wanted to show all this stuff because it seemed kind of, um, I don't know, pointless. But uh, I kind of wanted to keep this a log for myself just to record all the kind of things that go into opening, different things that I, that I had to do to uh, get this started. And, um, you know, it was pretty fun just to drive up, uh, pick up the equipment. So I haven't driven, again, I said, Yesterday I haven't driven like that in a while and at the same time, you know, got myself a little butter burger. And I gotta say, it was good, but I did not feel good later that day <laughs> and my heart started to hurt a little bit, you know, later that night. So uh, now when I think about going back like I said, and getting uh, another burger or I, I thought like, you know, after I left I want to try to get a double. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that, but uh, it was a fun trip regardless. And um, yeah, guys, uh, hopefully we'll get some, I got some other videos lined up um, and uh, yeah, it should be fun to kind of figure out uh, when we're actually going to be able to start serving food full time. That's still, you know, very much, um, you know, the question that's lingering in the air. A lot of people ask me and to be honest with you guys, I, I still don't really know. So. You know, we're just going to have to wait and see, uh, but hopefully we'll have other opportunities to get food out in different ways. Um, you know, we're still working through trying to figure out where to source all of our product from in terms of like meat and stuff like that, uh, especially with brisket prices skyrocketing right now. You know, uh, it's probably not the best thing uh, for me to do, even though I know everyone wants brisket, but to be honest with you, I just can't afford it. And if I were to sell it at a price that um, would you know, would be where I would be able to make some money, you wouldn't want to pay for it. So, um, you know, with that being said, you know, I think, you know, patience right now is key. And, uh, you know, I think it also leaves doors open to try other things and different opportunities to, you know, explore, you know, other meats, veggies, things of that nature. So, um, you know, as frustrating as, um, as it can be sometimes, you know, you just kind of have to go with the flow and sometimes good things come out of it. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, look out for my next couple videos coming up. And a huge thank you to all of you guys who have watched that uh, that barbie or the brisket trim video. I think as of today, I'm at 22,000 views or something like that. Um, and uh, obviously, uh, like many of you guys have said in comments have said, the the music was there in the background was questionable. But you know what? It was at three in the morning, and I honestly listen to that type of music when I'm trimming. So um, we'll leave it up to that. But thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Still got all these trays and half pans to wash.